I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent questions. Here is another question from one of our subscribers. It is based on trigonometric inequalities. Solve cos theta is greater than or equal to minus sin theta, where theta is between 0 to 3 pi. I like you to pause the video, copy the question, solve, and then look into my suggestions. Now, we'll begin with solving this inequality by dividing both sides by cos theta. So, so we have cos theta greater than or equal to minus sin theta. If I divide by cos theta both sides, what do I get? I get 1 is greater than or equals to minus tan theta. Right, so that is what I get. Now I could take tan theta on this side and rewrite this as tan theta is greater than or equal to minus 1. <clears throat> now if I do this, I'm sure I made a mistake. Now, this is a very common mistake done by most of the students. I would like you to think over it and figure out what is the mistake here and how can we correct and move forward. The steps are not wrong, but there is a mistake in coming to this conclusion here. Now, on the side, I'll provide you with an alternate solution. So what we can do is we could actually graph and find the solution also. So let us sketch the graph of cosine function and also minus sine x. So let's say this is the value which is positive and negative 1, right? So this is 1 positive, this is negative 1. So I'm sketching cos theta, which starts from the top, goes like this. So these are rough sketches, okay? So these are very rough sketches without wasting any time kind of like this. Okay, fine. We are interested in 0 to 3 pi. So this is 0. And that is one full cycle of 2 pi. And that's one more half 3 pi. Correct? So that is our cycle of interest. And you know, this will be like pi by 2. This is pi 3 pi by 2. Right 2 pi so, so 3 pi by 2, 4 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, correct? Like this, you could get those values. Now, let me sketch minus sin x. So, this is your cos theta. Okay. Now, let me sketch on the same scale minus sin theta. See, minus, right? This is minus. So, we'll start from 0, but we'll go down, right? Since it is negative, and for a sine function, it is going to be maximum here, 0 there, maximum there, I mean positive or negative, 0 there, maximum there. So I'm just plotting these points so that's simpler for us to sketch, correct? So, so the function given for minus sine x will be kind of like this. Correct. From these two graphs, we could actually conclude the solution very easily. So within this interval, we know the answer is from this point, which is included, when the orange is positive up to this point, that is one solution. The other one is from this point, right? It goes above green line uh, to this point. Right, so these are the solution sets. So, so on a number line, I mean, I can provide you with this solution, which is, as you can see, from here to here, and then from here to there, right? Uh, what are these solutions? Well, you know, tan theta is minus 1, so definitely it's related with pi by 4, correct? So, so you get those solutions, 0 to you could write that, correct? Now, let's get back to the original uh, solution. So, this is our alternate solution, right? So, 
So I hope you, you are getting the point. We could solve this question both ways, right? And it's very important to understand the concept. Now the idea of this mistake is kind of like this. Let me sketch another diagram here to give you the complete picture. You know, in quadrant 1, this is your quadrant 1, this is quadrant 2, this is quadrant 3, and this is your quadrant 4. We are dividing by cos. So cos is positive. Here all are positive. Here cos is positive. In these two quadrants, cos is negative, right? So here sine and tan are positive. So that really means that when we divided by cos theta and we wrote this, so this should be only true when cos theta is greater than zero. Do you understand? So that is, this statement is only true when we are working in quadrant one or in quadrant four. But if cos theta is less than zero, that means we are working in quadrant two and quadrant three, in that case, what happens? That is what you have to figure out. So in that case, you know you are dividing by a negative value. So this will reverse. So in that case, instead of getting 1 greater than or equal to, we will get 1 less than or equal to minus tan theta. Because cos theta is a negative number. So when you divide by a negative number, then the inequality sign will also change. Does it make sense to you? This is key, right? So, so in these two quadrants, what we have here is, so if I bring tan theta this side, I mean, we are saying minus tan theta is greater than this, uh, right? So, so we are saying tan theta. Let's bring tan theta this side, right? So, so uh, then it becomes plus tan theta and uh, minus one. You could say that. So, so you could say, so or if I we are saying tan theta is greater than, okay. What we are saying here is, we are saying minus tan theta is greater than or equal to one, correct? That's what we are saying. So that really means that tan theta is less than or equal to minus one. Is that okay? So either way, you could think about it. So, so in one way, we are saying that in these two quadrants, we are saying that tan theta, let me write down here, we are saying that tan theta should be greater than or equal to minus 1 in these two quadrants, right? And in these two, we want tan theta to be less than or equal to minus 1. Did you, do you understand this part? So that is key to the solution and we know tan theta is equal to 1 or minus 1 where. So we just draw this line pi by 4. So let's draw the lines where tan theta is 1 or minus 1. So these are at pi by 4 or 45 degrees, correct? So you know this is uh, pi by 4, 2 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4, 4 pi by 4, 5 pi by 4. 6 and then 7 pi by 4, correct? So these are your angles. Now if you look into these equations which I have written here, that are convenient. Let's look into quadrant 1 and 4. When cos theta was positive, we will not change the sign, right? So in that case, tan theta has to be greater than minus 1, right? So, so now if you see, in the first quadrant, all are positive, right? So since all are positive, we have a solution in the first quadrant, correct? So all are positive. Tan theta is always greater, so we get the whole thing, right? So from 0 to pi by 2, no problems, correct? Now at the second quadrant, we are saying that tan theta has to be less than or equal to minus 1. So that will happen till this point, 3 pi by 4, as you can also see here, right? So this point here is 3 pi by 4, this is 0. So we get that solution, correct? Do you see that part? So it really matches with what we did earlier. Here, we want tan theta to be less than negative 1, but you know in this, tan theta is positive. So there is no solution in quadrant 3. 
in quadrant 4, we want tan theta to be greater than minus 1. Here, if it is because tan theta, let's also sketch tan theta for clarity. So we'll make a very small sketch for tan. Tan function, as you know, repeats after every pi. So it's kind of like this, right? So it is kind of like this. Where that is your vertical asymptote. I'm not labeling it, but just making you understand how it works, right? So, so when we want it to be greater than minus 1, which basically will be somewhere here, let us say, right? So that means later half. Do you see that? So that means we're actually looking for the portion, which is, as you can also see from the graph, when, when we are approaching 2 pi in this portion, right? So in this portion. So after this, do you see that? This portion. After this. So that is one cycle. Now since we are considering two cycles here, so this will continue to this portion. Correct? So that becomes our solution. So our solution is the portion which is highlighted here. Does make sense to you, right? So that is how. That means 3 pi is up to here. So that means also this do you see that part right so so that is the solution for us is that correct so now i could write down our answer from these two inequalities that theta is between 0 to that portion is 3 pi by 4 correct and and then from 7, this is uh, 7 pi by 4 as you can see, 7 pi by 4, right? 7 pi by 4 to, we can add pi to this, right? So uh, 7 plus 4 is 11. So it is from 7 pi by 4 to 11 pi by 4. Doesn't make sense to you, right? So 180 degrees. So that is how we are going to get the solution for the given question. So it is a very interesting question and there are a couple of places where you could do a mistake. First, you have to divide by a positive quantity for sign to be same, right? So, so you have to consider intervals when cos theta is greater than zero and also when cos theta is less than zero. Is it okay? So those are very important intervals which we saw. And so you have two cases. So we have case one and we have case two. Accordingly, you will test and then draw. Easier method, of course, is to just sketch and have a good view of it. And you know exactly that we are looking for some value where the tan theta is uh, uh, less than minus 1. Good. So basically, you are looking for a value where both sine and cosine are equal. I mean, you know, so these are the points when both are equal. So even if you get these points, you can kind of work out the solution. So I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my video, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.